Hey, what's up, universe? It's 10.30 p.m. Central Time on Tuesday, October 24th, 2023. Uh, so I have the upstairs, you know, to myself, which is nice. I've been able to kind of reflect and do what I used to do, like, in my own home. Like, kind of walk around and talk to myself a little bit, right? And I've just been reflecting on, um, you know, some other things I was thinking about today. Like, so the guy that I met earlier, his name's Mike. And uh, he took my email address, and um, there's just the feeling I have around that connection is, you know, there might be, I'm curious what kind of develops or blossoms from that. And uh, so I'm a little bit excited in a way, and I don't necessarily know what for, it was just a nice connection. So I just want to speak a little bit more to that. And then one of the things that I've just kind of been connecting with this evening is that, like, um, one of the things that, like, Mike and I spoke about was, like, you know, fear in a way, like, just kind of life journeys and, like, things going on in the world and, like, whatever. Um, and I've definitely had my share of fear in life. I've definitely kind of scared the hell out of myself about some things and freaked out about some things and become unhinged around some things and you know I've been inspired by fear in a number of different ways in my life um, and even like given my current situation and my living situation my job and finance situation all of this kind of a thing like um, it's not exactly how I would love it to be and at the same time, like, part of what I feel is part of my journey around it is um, just really being comfortable with the unknown and just accepting the flow of things and really just surrendering to the fearlessness. And because, like, what's the worst thing that's going to happen? You know, there are fates worse than death. You know, I'm not going to get tortured, you know, nothing like that. Um, dying isn't going to be the end of me, you know, because I believe that our souls are eternal. I believe that, uh, you know, we transition into something else. I'm not sure what, but I don't believe that, I don't believe that death is the end. And, and so really, what is there to be afraid of? Like, what am I afraid of? Um, and that's part of the reason that I'm able to navigate and kind of challenge what I challenge. And I feel like that's part of my journey as well, is to go through and learn to be comfortable, you know, challenging the things that are uncomfortable to challenge, you know, um, the way that we're told that life is supposed to be lived, the way that things are supposed to be done you know, what we're quote unquote supposed to do, how things are supposed to look like, you know, and all of this thing and kind of be like, but does it really, you know, like, does it really have to do that? Do we really have to do that? Does it really have to be that way? Um, and I'm not saying that like, uh, I'm not saying that like, <laughs> not promoting my current lifestyle necessarily. Uh, what I am promoting though is the energy around fear and the energy around challenging things. It's like, do we really have to be afraid of challenging things? Do we really have to be afraid of, of, you know, bucking the trend? Do we really have to be afraid of turning things on their head and viewing things from an entirely different perspective and giving that space? Like, does it really have to be, do we have to be, do we have to be afraid of that? You know? Um, and, you know, there's, I just, for some reason, I feel intimately connected to that. I feel like that's been part of my journey, like my entire life. Uh, I've had a lot of people, you know, comment on how I inspire them in certain ways and how that, you know, it's basically me giving myself permission to do that has allowed them, to, they've given themselves permission to step into certain directions in their life, certain choices in their, for their life. And and certain things for themselves that they wouldn't have normally have done had they not seen somebody else do it, you know? And that's a great honor um, to be an inspiration. So I'm super grateful for that. And, um, you know, 
uh, I was so I was just connecting with that and just connecting with the spirituality and just kind of like there is what's the worst that's ever going to happen to me ever in this life and what do I really have to be afraid of you know um, and I think that that me connecting with that and having connected with that and having gone through what I've gone through a number of different times has given me the type of surrender that you see when you witness me talk about it uh, the calm is that I've surrendered to that kind of process I'm like yeah I know what it's like to get really freaked out I know what it's like to like feel the fear and it's awful, right? Everybody's probably experienced some level of anxiety, some level of fear, some level of trepidation, some level of like, what the hell around something in their life, right? And who's gonna, who enjoys that, right? And so just allowing ourselves to experience life and all of its different manifestations in a way that is um, doesn't have that energy around it you know uh, and that's that's work that takes some practice it's like anything else right uh, but that's again that goes back to what I was saying earlier like do, you know can we turn it on its head can we experience something that is um, unorthodox in a way not traditional outside of the comfort zone without having the energy of like disturbing, right? Disturbing us. How much are we gonna allow that to disturb us? And it just kind of speaks to like some other stuff that I've talked about before is walking in the midst of chaos and working to be as undisturbed as possible. Cause it's like really, you know, it looks this way. It, it might inspire feelings of this, but ultimately really is it something that I need to allow? Does, does it need to disturb me? No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Is what what is being disturbed going to serve me? Uh, so anyway, it just just kind of ties into some of the stuff that Mike and I were talking about earlier, and I just felt like talking about it again uh, here now. Um, you know partly a little bit because you know I've got stuff I can be disturbed about like you know the weather right now is uh, it's raining and it was raining pretty hard earlier and it's gonna rain for like the next I don't know couple of days and with my current living situation like outside is kind of where I take my that's where I sleep um, so the rain isn't can <laughs> it's not conducive to me being outside and getting sleep so I have ideas and uh, I'm not disturbed by the weather. Um, I have uh, a plan, basically, right? Um, is it my ideal plan? No, but I'm already not in my ideal scenario. So um, I'm going to make do with what I got. And I'm not going to be disturbed by how things look. And I'm going to just allow myself to flow with what is and this too shall pass, right? This too shall pass. Um, now, granted, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna totally admit, I don't always connect with the, this too shall pass. There's times when I get a little hung up on how things are. I have my moments, I'm human, you know, so I'm not gonna discount that or dismiss those feelings and those experiences. Like, that's a real thing. That's part of the human experience. So I have that too. Um, so I, I want to just acknowledge that, you know, like this isn't like a holier than thou kind of a thing at all. Um, it's just, I speak to what I work on connecting with the most, right? Is being less disturbed or not disturbed. That's my, that's my ideal. That's my goal. You know, it's kind of like working out, like you get to a certain target weight or a certain like target and you might have a cheat day, you might eat, you might go out, and whatever, kind of throws you off a little bit, stuff happens, but it was worth it in a way, sometimes it's not, whatever, it happens, it's life, so it's the ebb and flow, just let it be, and that's what I tell myself, anyhow, I've been talking for a minute, that's kind of where I'm at, and, um, yeah, I, uh, I really just kind of feel like over the next 
two or three weeks, like things will be starting to turn around and shape up. Um, I have my reasons for thinking that. Um, part of it is how I'm feeling. Um, part of it is, you know, the astrology stuff. Um, you know, part of it's just statistically speaking, like, you know, everything has to like, you know, come into existence, exist, and then pass from existence. So at some point, things got to turn around. And I feel like over the next few weeks, that'll start to, I'll start to see that. And I'll start to experience that. So, yeah. I'm going to keep that in my head and I'm going to attract that into my life. And, yeah, you're going to be part of the journey. So, as always, thanks for being here with me. Thanks for giving me some time and some space. I appreciate you uh, being with me. So, I love you guys. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye.